Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Agent Nemitz and welcome back today to another tutorial video. If you clicked on the video, saw the thumbnail, the title, you know that this is how to do face scans properly in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Um, you know, I, this is something that pretty much everybody knows how to do, but if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to walk you through it right now. It's pretty straightforward and easy to get adjustments on how to do this, so we're just going to dive right into this, make it short and sweet, just like... I know I can so <clears throat> obviously you start at the menu here when you're going into my career and you're gonna create a new my career character um, there's many options to do when you're creating a new build right so you go in you do all the stuff I think right off the get-go before this stage here when you're first doing your very first um, what what do you call it face scan because um, you see mine's already in there currently um, when you're doing that, you get to choose to customize the head or to do a face scan. So when you go in to do stuff like this, that's where that comes from. I'm going to go there and kind of simulate it to show you. So this is what it will look like when you are going into the face scan thing here. Um, you can see there's many options. There's select, edit head, scan your face, and there's all these preset faces already built into the game. So that's pretty cool. But if you wanted to get more customized, obviously, you scan your own face. So this is my face scan currently. It does look just like me. Um, I, I think I did it three or four times to get it exactly perfect. And we're going to walk through how you get it to look very similar to you right now. So um, when you're in here, you would do scan your face. And then here it walks you through some steps. Welcome to the head builder, selecting your look. In on the app store, you go get the My NBA 2K21 app. From there, you can jump into the game or go deeper with powerful customization options. Yeah, because there's a mini game built into that app, or there's also a face scan feature. So um, you would go download the app, which I'm going to pop up on the screen now of me doing it myself. So this is what the app looks like in the score. It has uh, the score, this is the store, the app store, or the Google Play Store, or whatever, if you have Android. Um, yeah, I'm on Apple. So it looks like Damian Lillard has my NBA 2K21 on it. Mine's already downloaded, but if it wasn't, you would download it. And then you would open it after it's done downloading. And it's going to boot up and everything. And then what happens when you go into it is it's going to ask you to sign in after you start it up. You got to accept policies and stuff. Whatever platform you play on, you have to go and sign into it. Now, I'm not going to show you my sign in, obviously. So once you log into your account successfully, it will show it working. Of course, I'm on Xbox Live, but if you're doing your PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or Steam, it all works here as well. So you're logging in, and then there's a couple prompts on the screen. There is shows your account, your VC status, etc., etc. And then you can see there's a face scan button and a locker code button. So what you want to do is you'll click on the face scan. Obviously, it goes through some terms and conditions, give it access to your camera, and then it goes through some steps to make this as successful as possible. And there you go. You can see me recording this right now. <laughs> so there you go. Remove hat and glasses. Scan in an area with sufficient lighting. Look directly at the camera, then slowly turn your head left and right 30 degrees. Move your head, not your device. Whoops. When the scan is complete, this tone will play. So, and then you begin your scan. And what you're going to do is there's going to be stuff at the bottom, and we'll just walk through it right now. And there you go. It shows you different orientations of how your head should be. So, you keep your eyes open and looking at the camera and keeping your head in that zone there. Of course I have a headset on so it's a little different but then you keep looking at the camera and turning your head slightly and you see the check boxes get checked for certain orientations of your head you just move it nice and slow and you get it checked out and it scans your whole head here I think it's messing up because of the headset on my head but yeah so that's the that's the gist of it if you get a bad looking face scan recommended not using your um your headset here if you get a bad face scan go to somewhere with a better background that has a white background or a opaque background and then lots of lighting natural lighting is better but if you have some white led lights or something like that that works out 
really well too. I have adjustable Wi-Fi lights in my room so I can make them super bright and it works out great and I have the window behind me for natural light. So, and then you just keep going through this process over and over until you get a face skin that looks good for you, that you like and looks good. So once you're done with your face scan, you go in back into 2K, you you'll just leave it up on the screen just right here where we left it, and then you'll hit A to check for head scan data. I'm not going to do this because I already did it, but once you check for head scan data, I guess, oh, I don't have one in there apparently, but yeah, you check for head scan data and then it loads and it'll pop up something like this like what your guy will look like and then you can go into the head and edit certain things obviously you can edit your hair make the hair look different you can go into the skull make the skull higher lower make the eyebrows different ears different etc change your eye color and orientation of the eyes add facial hair or take it away and skin color so if it doesn't quite match your head you go into all these settings here and make it look more so like yourself don't save because I didn't do anything. And then there you go. That's how you get a proper face scan in on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Uh, it also works for current gen basically the same way, but I'm going to make a separate tutorial on that. Um, so if you came for current gen, obviously I'm going to make a current gen tutorial on that too. But it is basically the same thing. So that is how you do it. And then, of course, you can access your face scan data from within this menu whenever you see fit so you go right over to my player appearance and then my player appearance again and you can edit the face scan change your hair change your facial hair whenever you want from right here um, and then of course like i said you can change the face scan as well but if you're happy with it then you're good to go and just rinse and repeat that process that i showed you of turning your head getting better lighting getting a different background so that way you stand out a little bit more whatever works best just try out different things and it'll work best for you when i did it i had a w solid white background wall and super bright led lights and a little bit of natural light as well and that's how i got this face scan obviously you saw my face it looks pretty similar to how i look in real life um that's how you get the most ideal face scan for you so if this tutorial helped you out make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already i tried to keep it short and sweet for you um yeah if you have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments i answer them to the best of my ability um yeah if you're wondering how people with logos get face scans 2k does face scans for them and they're like professional grade face scans this is just how you can do it right off your phone um to make it look somewhat similar to how you look irl so yeah um again hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe for more go check out my other tutorials if you're curious about how to do other things in 2k21 next gen current gen 2k20 2k19 i have tutorials for all of these games um as well as some other ones so go check those out follow me on my socials and i will see you all in the next video so take care have a great day and goodbye